Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. This is such a funny angle, but truthfully, it is the best angle that I can have to show you all these items just spread out on the ground. What I want to do in this video is just go over, you know, things that I'm packing and taking with me for my trip with Fashion File to California this weekend. Okay, so I might be in the shot, I might not, kind of like in and out like this, just because obviously I want you to see the stuff as I've got it on the floor and sort of, you know, as if we were just sort of sitting chatting and I'm showing you this way because it's the easiest way to do it. Firstly, I am a super comfy flyer, like the most comfortable flyer you've ever met. I'm happy to board a plane in my pyjamas. When I went, when I... If when I uh, went into hospital, when I was having Marcy, when I was having my baby, I bought my own linen. That's how much of a diva I am. So the same goes for an aeroplane. Like if I could take my own pillow, like going to camp, I would. So I need to be super comfy and that is from the get go. Like I don't need to look glam at the airport and then change on the plane. Like even though you can, I suppose, I just like to be super comfy. So picked up a new pair of um, Adidas leggings. They will go with my um, Adidas uh, sneakers, which is the all black, the, the ZX Flux. Anyway, I always leave a link below to wherever I can find the actual item or similar. And then it's not really, you know, it's a bit of a brand haul, but then this was too comfortable to pass up when I was in uh, the sports shop getting the leggings, Rebel Sport here in Australia. This Nike uh, oversized kind of sweater with cut off sleeves. It's like a blanket, you guys. And at the end of the day, I just want to be comfortable. So we're going to do a bit of Nike and Adidas on the plane. Okay, let me quickly go over most of my accessories because that's really, look, I'm not going to lie. It's what I'm all about. I'm only taking one pair of pants, so therefore I'm only taking one belt, and the belt I chose was my uh, Louis Vuitton Ellipse. This is the Ellipse belt in monogram, in gold hardware in monogram. To take three shawls, these are the two Louis Vuitton shawls, and I currently have my Burberry shawl, but I'm sewing the tag back on because it fell off, so that's just in my other bedroom at the moment. I've just got to sew that on. So I will bring my Burberry shawl. This is my leopard Stephen Sprouse stall that I got from Paris from Sassy Kimchi. So we'll be taking a bit of leopard and then traditional black, my black monogram, uh, all over monogram black shawl. They are the three that I chose to take with me. Glasses that I've, I've decided to take are my Celine Large Shadows, of course. And now that I have such other oversized, I, these don't even feel that big, but Large Shadows by Celine. Definitely <laughs> taking my Gucci Square, my beautiful retro, which you've seen a lot of. My beautiful retro tortoiseshell by Gucci. They are so made. I'm taking my new Chloe's, the Caroline in the, this is the golden peach. I had a subby ask me to definitely confirm it is the golden peach and that's exactly what it is. They're sheer, they're not blackout, like you'll still see your eyes. As you can already see, I'm sort of taking things in either sets of threes or like a very capsule collection, like a very capsule wardrobe. So when I thought about, you know, what do I want to take to California? How do I want to, what's my zhuzh? What's my feel? What's my story? You know, luckily it's autumn or fall over there. I know that on the West Coast it's very similar to our weather here. So a cool kind of uh, sort of spring day here is what the weather is over there. This all still works with that temperate for me. I don't mind. And um, yeah, if I do get hot, it's easy to take layers off rather than the other way around. So moving into shoes, which is the obvious, uh, I guess, <laughs> one of the obvious things along with bags of what I would do. These absolute beauties that I just unboxed in my last video. You guys, you guys. I had to FaceTime Jen, Jen G, who I'm seeing the most of when I get to California, we've set up a few different dates that we're going to do together. So you'll see her a lot on my vlog, which everyone's quite excited about. You guys, these, I can't stop raving. The quality is ridiculous. 
ridiculous in Vuitton shoes. I'm just so, so impressed and they're very comfortable. The best thing about um, like luxury shoe uh, footwear is that you get your own dust bag. And I love that. So for travel, nice and clean. They stay in their own area. And each pair of shoe I'm taking, other than my runners, have their own dust bag. Uh, like the casual flats that I chose to take with me, rather than my black ones, I wanted to really just, uh, you know, change up, do something a bit different. This is the Chanel Esprit was in the uh, beige clear with the black cap toe. Again, come with their own dust bags. Mine, when they arrived, only came with one. So I asked Michael for another one. But again, so perfect for travel. That's three shoes. And then these are my last which you would have seen in my luxury haul I just did. My beautiful, brand new Valentino Rockstuds in the color powder. Uh, yeah, in the blush, the blush tone in the patent leather. Is that the right way? Yeah, here we go. So again, they have a dust bag, so that's perfect. Okay, we're, we're moving on closer, we're moving closer. All right, bag wise. This got hard actually. It did get really hard, not because like I didn't know what to choose. I was just trying to think, you know, what do I want? What do I want to carry? This, <laughs> the Speedy B25 um, in Damieri bin is going to be my travel bag. So this is what's coming on the plane with me, uh, with everything. I believe it's such an amazing size to keep all your things you need. I'm going to need my vlogging cameras because I'm taking you guys with me. So this is such a perfect bag for that. Leave this behind. This is the most amazing everyday bag. Thanks to Sarah. Um, it, we did a bag swap. I had the PM. We swapped. I got the mini from her. She got my PM. This is an amazing, amazing bag. Just to grab and go, it's so amazing. And <laughs> for absolute sentimental reasons, I've been using this the last week. And this is, to me, this is my ultimate fashion file bag. This bag I got from Fashion File, obviously. And it means so much to me and I want it there with me. So one of the days I'll be rocking this bag. I tried to choose you know, bags to sort of, you know, wear every two days to mix up with the outfits, I guess. I know it's kind of high maintenance to always be changing out your bag, but you're on vacation, you you know, you're on a trip. So it's not, it's not as if I'm taking care of the baby and my husband so that I can't always change it out. So that's so cool. The boy is coming with me. Let's just quickly go through cosmetic cases. I am taking all of these. The only one that is missing is my GM uh, cosmetic case in Damieri bin that at the moment is not coming with me I can't say it's not going to because I might end up using it as my general needs cosmetic case meaning like toothbrush hairbrush things like that because at the moment this guy is roughly packed as that sorry if you hear a lawnmower my my neighbors are whippersnippering right now <laughs> Um, but this is packed as like my general, you know, general non-makeup, all all makeup bag. So makeup remover and like toothbrush container will go in here and hairbrush. I may need the GM cosmetic case as well because what's ended up happening is this is all my makeup set up at the moment. And that's a worry because this is such a good all cosmetic case, meaning like all your toiletries, hairbrush and things like that. But I have been using all my brushes in here, all my makeup brushes, which are clean. They've all just had a really good clean in baby wash. And I've just been having them in here and it's just been so convenient on my, uh, you know, on my console table that I'm just sort of like, I'm going to leave them in here, but it means I lose the space of this cosmetic case. And I will say that the 25 is bigger than the 26. The fact that this stands up longer, you can probably fit like deodorant and stuff, but this I've been so used to as my main toiletry, but that's going to have to change. This holds all my lip essentials. So all of my lipsticks, lip pencils, I'm not going to take that out. That will just come. The Toiletry 19, sorry, that was the Cosmetic Case PM in monogram. The Toiletry 19 holds all my face needs, foundations, 
uh, primers, um, concealers. And then the Nice BB is going to house some palettes and then all of the rest of my blush, sorry, blush powders and things like that are down inside there as well. My Coach Poppy case that I've had forever and a day always holds all my eye essentials, mascaras, eyeliners, all everything eye related, eyebrows is in there. And this little guy will hold all my jewelry. All the jewelry that I'll take will be in this little guy. This is the perfume case. Okay, and because this is my carry-on, I'm taking the Pegas 55 Business carry-on with me. Uh, inside the first pouch, which is like the complete business compartment, I will have everything like office related in here. So my laptop will go in here, um, you know, cards, a pencil case, things like that. All of my details will go in the little business compartment section. Is going on the inside is all of my uh, camera gear. All my equipment is going on the inside. It has to stay with me, obviously, because it is really <laughs> some of the most valuable part of my trip. Um, so all of my different tech gear that I need, all my tripods, extra lenses and things like that. And then my all my camera gear that run, runs in my backpack. This will all come inside my carry-on because I just want to keep it with me. And then anything, I always pack in a carry-on in like say this compartment. Anything, if your luggage that you've checked in goes missing, and I've had that when I went to Denmark, a bag didn't come out of the check and the conveyor belt and we were both just looking at each other, my husband and I like, oh God. Um, Always keep in here like, you know, any medicine you need, maybe extra knickers or things like that. I always keep them on me in case your luggage goes astray. So that's what will be mainly in the internal compartment, just so it's with me. And now for clothing. Uh, this was really easy. I said to myself, what, what do you want to do? Uh, I see myself in sort of you know maybe a nice pair of skinny trousers and sweaters and jackets or coats and just a nice thin sweater that's it I don't want to overcomplicate the wardrobe that I take uh, and then just have you know kind of one pair of trousers and some key tops and that that's it so basically that's the way I went through it however I did want to check what I already had you know, it would be fun to buy a few new pieces, but also check what I already have. Even though it is quite dressy, I did invest in the Balmain uh, collaboration with H&M. And this is the black rope top. And even though, you know, it's a bit, you know, zhuzh, it's a bit dressy, with the pair of black, it's got jersey on the back, so it's a little bit more casual. Even with the black trousers and, you know, just my espadrilles, like it, it could be an okay just to go out for lunch, maybe go out for lunch with Jen or if I'm going to see Minx. Hi, Minnie. So, you know, or Sarah from Fashion File. So I just thought that would be a nice option to take to utilize my Balmain H&M collection pieces. This coat is so beautiful. It is the long... Uh, um, like signature style looking Balmain coat. I, I can fit in, I can put it on. It's just very tight. Um, I could just have it over my shoulders and just, I don't know, just utilize it, just use it, you know? I don't know, I don't think it will come with me, but the idea that it would come with me is kind of like a bit zhuzh. Hey, and moving on, what else is coming with me? I mean, duh, I have to rep L&M when I'm seeing Jen in California. But also, this is my home sweater, and plus, it says my favorite thing in the world, and I want to have a bit of him with me. But this is my LM Champion hoodie. So, these are the trousers I chose to take. They're kind of like a wet look denim, I would say. Yeah, like a wet wash denim. Very cute. I got these from Zara, and they're high waisted, so I love them so much for that because I really love the cut. Speaking of Zara, this is my Zara trench coat. This is such a phenomenal trench coat. It's floor length. It's just so like Jackie O. I don't know. I love this trench coat. So that is coming with me to California. But yeah, one pair of trousers 
two pair of leggings so I just have plain black leggings they're my compression leggings from Target and one pair has like leather panels in it and the other pair is just plain so two leggings one pair of trousers two coats two dresses and two spencers and that way it was just like really like this nice little capsule collection the second coat I'm taking is my awesome top man camouflage coat this is the coolest coat. Okay, if you watched my last unboxing, the two designer pieces that I actually picked up from mytheresa.com, I did in fact return. I got DHL to pick up, pick up the Yeezy sweater. I can't pull it off, guys. It did look cute. It is so heavy because it's that thick wool and it was just super oversized. Look, I'm just... I'm not that cool. It was a little bit too hipster for me, but I like the fact I tried, you know, I gave it a try. However, I did hang on to this. This is the Kenzo sweater that I did pick up from my Teresa in the plummy kind of purple color. This is so great. I'm really happy I got it. It's super comfortable. Two Spencers or tops I'm taking is this. They're both Studio W. I showed them in my birthday haul. This is this gold foil kind of one, just a nice lightweight V-neck. Uh, if it's a hotter kind of day, I guess, to be a bit cooler. And then this Saint Germain one as well in gray. Okay, and then lastly, the two cocktail dresses that I did pick up for this trip is this black Ponty one from Studio W as well. And it's got the puffy sleeves. My mom is so happy I'm taking it with me. And I wanted to have two options of a cocktail dress. Of course, the one I love the most, which I think I'll be wearing to the event with Fashion File on my Louis Vuitton coat hanger because it's going to go in the garment bag right now to pack is this beautiful lace with sheer underlay dress again from Studio W. So those are the two cocktail dresses I will be taking. So I just want to make mention here that we have come to a conclusion on the San Diego meet and greet. The San Diego meet and greet is going to be held at the Carlsbad headquarters for Fashion File. There will be a link for submission to just put your email address, your full name, to put yourself on the list just so that we kind of so the fashion file has a head count, obviously, maybe, you know, 10 or 20 people might want to come. We just have to kind of have a head count. Um, they would prefer it that way. So we've created a Google form below. If you just enter, then that way you'll be on the list and we can come and have a little meet and greet. I am happy to tell you that hopefully at that meet and greet, Miss Minx for All will be with me and... I am going to San Diego with my gorgeous Jen G. We're going to go together. It's going to be like a girl's road trip. So I can't wait to take you on the vlog with us down to San Diego. We're going to drive down there together. Um, it's going to be like Thelma and Louise, we decided. Guys, that is it. That concludes my video of what I am packing to take with me on my California trip in collaboration with Fashion File. They are sending me over to California in the USA on the weekend, and I am beside myself. They are so phenomenal, and to be able to just partner with them and go and meet Sarah and the CEO in person and her whole team and see their boutiques and see their headquarters in San Diego is just mind-blowing. I can't believe it's actually happening. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, there is a button below with a bell next to it. If you hit that bell, you'll get notifications of all my new videos. I hope everybody is doing really well, guys. Take care. Peace.